Why do people abuse opioids? This is a big question and there's multiple answers to it. The easiest answer are the group of people out there who have been prescribed it legitimately by their primary care doctor or an emergency treatment doctor or a, a uh, surgeon. And so some people are more prone to addiction than others. And so the, although it's been prescribed in the first place to treat a pain syndrome, Sometimes if it's been overtreated or they've been given too much of the drug or they've enjoyed it too much, they tend to progress to a situation where they're abusing it and taking more than they need to. And what happens is they develop dependency. So uh, if they stop taking it, they start feeling withdrawal. Also what happens is tolerance. When they, to achieve the same effect of whether it's pain control or if they want to just use it to get high, they need more and more of the drug to achieve that effect. And this helps perpetuate the deaths of this addiction. Uh, so what may, may be starting off as a pain syndrome can soon be followed by dependency and tolerance to the drug of choice. Other people, uh, now we're going to, the, to, let's say, the younger generation. Um, boredom, recreation, uh, rebelliousness, all of the above, uh, peer pressures from other kids, experimentation with drugs is a natural, unfortunate fact of life. And um, not all teens are, are going to be experimenting and abusing, but certainly a certain percentage of them will. And when their friends are using, then they are more prone and uh, more likely to use as well as a form of experimentation. It can also be, as I said, a form of rebelliousness. Uh, the hopeful thing to do in this situation though is is to help educate them as far as responsible drug use. I mean avoiding drugs altogether is a great idea but that has not worked clearly from uh, the 1980s with the Nancy Reagan just say no campaign is not enough. What needs to happen is to better educate our youth so that they make an informed decision so they're not getting stuck in the realms of addiction. But plenty will go on and what starts off as a recreational thing can grow quickly especially with the opioids especially with fentanyl because it's so potent so powerful that they soon become hooked because uh, if they stop Stop taking it they start feeling uh, withdrawal syndrome and the only way to make it go away is to take more of the drug and this just perpetuates it add to this that they've developed a tolerance and they need more and more of the drug to achieve the same effect now they're using more and more of the drug and this gets them deeper into the addiction and even more severe will the withdrawal syndrome be the more severe it is the more the less likely they will be uh, to actually uh, stopping and ceasing the drug take intake so it's a very um, dangerous perpetual cycle other people um, progress who are abusing opioids now, <clears throat> this is down the addiction spectrum. Um, heroin users, how does somebody become a heroin user? Well, they don't just suddenly start injecting. It starts with taking an opioid uh, for whatever reason, whether it's prescribed or not, but they end up developing tolerance, they want to get a, get a stronger high, and they learn techniques from other people <clears throat> or online, and this can include Crush, instead of snorting, um, taking the pills by mouth, they can snort them, crush them up, they can melt them down and start injecting them. Uh, this is a stepwise approach. Most people don't just jump into IV drug use. It's because they're going through withdrawal, they become desperate, they just want to get high and have a bigger bang from the drug. And unfortunately, it's a double-edged sword and the more potent it is, the more rapid acting it is, whether it's by snorting it or by injecting it, well, that just deepens the addiction, worsens the tolerance and the dependency, worse, makes the withdrawal state even stronger. And so this is a sad scenario. Um, there's a lot of fentanyl addicts out there as well. Um, a lot of heroin addicts have been converted over to fentanyl now because the drug supply of heroin is no longer pure, it contains fentanyl in it, and this just speeds up the depth of the addiction and they become a slave to the drug now. They are using opioids because they will get sick if they stop and it's a very horrible situation to be in. Uh, this explains why people go to such extreme lengths, such desperation. They're going through withdrawal and they'll do anything to stop feeling sick. This is no longer a moral decision. This is a sick person. It's important to appreciate where they are coming from. This explains why people will burn their bridges with their family and loved ones. They will borrow money and not pay back. They will sleep on people's couches and couch surf for a while until they burn those bridges. They will lie and manipulate. They're doing this not because of moral or character problems is because they are feeding their drug addiction and it's very very hard to get off of it. Other things include prostitution um, and in other cases such as myself a doctor who started prescribing inappropriately to feed my own habit. Uh, this people will go to desperate lengths because they are 
in desperate times, they are feeling very sick from withdrawal and just want to make it go away. That explains, I hope, why people abuse opioids. The simple answer in the end is because opioids are very powerful, they are very strong and it makes it very, they become hooked very gradually, they may not even realize it, but it's the strength of the drug itself and the rapid onset, onset as well that can lead to a worsening, worsening addiction. <clears throat> So to summarize, that's a big one. Um, so to summarize why people are abusing or misusing opioids, it stems from people who have been on legitimate prescriptions for pain who are simply dependent on it and they just can't get off. Uh, to people who are dependent from a prescription but abuse it because they want to achieve a higher level of pain control in order to they develop tolerance and they need to take more and more of the medication to achieve the pain control threshold. And so in this situation, uh, they are becoming uh, manipulative to themselves, they are overdoing it with their medications, and um, this is a high risk situation. Uh, the other end of the spectrum are people or younger people who are experimenting and taking drugs for the first time and can get hooked very quickly. Uh, there could be a lot of peer pressure on them from their, from their friends, uh, lots of reasons, rebelliousness, um, defiance, you name it, that they are trying out these medications. And it's just a normal part of, of uh, teenage years as well as to experiment. The unfortunate thing is opioids are like playing with fire. They're very strong, very rapid onset, rapid acting, and very potent. And a person can become hooked before they even realize it. And then finally, the, the other uh, spectrum here, people who are crushing up uh, and abusing opioids, um, whether they want to snort it or melt it down and inject it. This is the worst case scenario at the end of the spectrum here, uh, where a person becomes a desperate situation that um, they, even if they had every reason to want to quit and every effort to do so, it becomes very difficult because the addiction is so strong and the withdrawal is so compelling, they will go to any length to avoid feeling sick from the withdrawal. Uh, it covers a lot. I hope that helps provide some of, um, input for you. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave it in the comment box below. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A caring addiction advisor is awaiting your call. Mm -hmm.